This is the US military's most powerful cannon, the electromagnetic railgun, which can shoot up to 100 nautical miles at Mach 7.5 and impacting the target at Mach 5, using only energy as its propellant. The high velocity projectile will destroy land, sea and air targets purely from its kinetic energy rather than with conventional explosive warheads. So what is a railgun? Well, the EM railgun launcher is a long-range weapon that fires projectiles using electricity instead of chemical propellants like gunpowder. Magnetic fields created by high electrical currents accelerate a sliding metal conductor or armature between two rails to launch projectiles at 4500 miles per hour. Basically, it shoots a big solid metal projectile at very high speeds at vast distances and does damage using kinetic energy, only using electricity to shoot. The railgun works by storing power for several seconds, generated from an external source, like a ship. After the weapon is charged with some 32 megajoules of energy, its capacitors send an electrical pulse down two long rails, one negatively charged and one positively charged, generating an electromagnetic field that fires the projectile along the two rails at up to Mach 7. Using extreme speed, the warhead impacts with high kinetic energy, ripping a hole through whatever it was aimed at. The 25 pound projectile is a non-explosive bullet, like a big dart, inside an aluminium alloy casing or sabo, that falls away after the projectile leaves the barrel. The greatest advantage of an EM railgun on a naval vessel over traditional explosive round weapons is the safety aspect, as no propellant is required to fire the projectile, and no explosive rounds are stored in the ship's magazine. Railguns have been around a long time in sci-fi TV shows and movies. The most recent I can think of is from the TV show The Expanse, where all the big military spaceships all use railguns, and in the 2009 movie Transformers 2, a naval vessel uses a railgun to shoot a transformer off the pyramid. But the EM railgun has two major complications. The weapon takes an enormous amount of power to fire, and it literally tears itself apart with use. The railgun has already been in development and testing for over a decade with total cost exceeding $500 million. In its current form, the railgun simply requires too much power for widespread use. The problem is the only ships that will be able to generate the gargantuan 25 megawatts of power required to fire the railgun are the Zumwalt class destroyers, which will use Rolls-Royce turbine generators to produce as much as 78 megawatts of power for the ship. But only three of these technologically advanced warships will be produced. A bigger problem is that the railgun will shred its internal components to bits if it is fired enough. You can see parts of the rails themselves erupting from the weapon as plasma when it is fired. The projectile is leaving at incredibly high velocities and it accelerates down the barrel. The contact between the sabo and the rails simply erodes the gun itself. The other short-term solution is to develop a railgun that uses less power. An EM railgun that could fire a projectile at 2500 miles per hour instead of 4600 miles per hour and hit a target at 50 nautical miles instead of 100 nautical miles would still be incredibly useful, especially if the Navy could mount the weapon on existing warships. A less powerful railgun still has all the advantages of being cheaper to fire and removing dangerous explosives from a ship. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.